Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm Rob from Robnofoto.com and I'm here to tell you about a horrible experience I had uh, yesterday and this morning with my camera, well, lens to be uh, exact. But don't worry, there is kind of, actually, I won't give away the, the ending, that would kind of spoil it. So anyway, so I went into work yesterday and um, I always take my camera bag with me to work with my trusty 600D T3L, T3i uh, with my 55 to 250 and the uh, 1855 kit lens, and I take it in my trusty low pro um, uh, photo runner, photo bag, which is amazing, really nice bag, nice and small. You can fit just enough kit in it to really do you out for, for a nice day, um, but not too big that you can overload yourself. But anyway, I hang it on this hook <laughs> at work. So you can imagine what happened. So I went to hang it on this hook, looked away, didn't realize it was on the hook, let go, and this thing went uh, clunk from about five feet down onto a hard concrete floor. Now at the time, I, w I went, oh no, but I was really busy. I had to get things started at work. So I kind of forgot about it until this morning. I thought, uh, I better get my camera out and check it. So. So I get my... Um, I get my uh, 600D out, T3i, yeah, fine, I'll check it out. No cracks in the body, the lens is fine, take some test shots with the 18 to 55 kit lens. Happy days. Whew. Got to check the 55 250 next. Get the 55 to 250 out before I even <laughs> take off the lens cap, give it a shake. doesn't sound too good does it and um, if I take the lens cap off there we go <laughs> oh my god so as you can see I don't want to tip it up too much in case all the glass bits fall out but as you can see the whole front element is is smashed now but the good and the really good news is that isn't the front element of the of the lens it's a UV, UV filter, it's a haze filter. And actually when I sort of took the, the lens cap off the first time, the lens cap would kind of jam down onto, the, onto it as well. And I guess that's probably what caused the impact break there. Um, and in fact, the way that I hold, have this lens in my bag is I have it sort of upside down like that. So that when I come to change lenses, I just pop that bit off. I can quickly take it out and slot it in you know, flip the um, the lens hood on and everything. But so you can imagine, I opened it. I went, oh no, this looks looks really this looks really bad. <laughs> then I sort of went, oh well, wait a minute. Actually, I can see that it looks like it's just the the front bit, the uh, the the lens um, the filter that is cracked, and there's all these bits of glass. So what I'm going to do next, and I haven't done this yet, I'm going to take the filter off, get rid of the broken glass. Hopefully the lens isn't too badly scratched underneath. Take some test shots and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I'm back. And more importantly, my 55-250 Canon EFS uh, is back as well. And hopefully you can probably see that it's nice and clean. doesn't have that nasty broken filter on the front anymore. But I shouldn't say it's nasty because it kind of, it saved the front of my lens, didn't it? Um, um, because what kind of what I think kind of what happened, as I said before, the the lens cap was on the filter, and then when it hit the ground in my bag, the the lens cap was jammed down onto the onto the filter and broke the filter, and that undoubtedly took the brunt of the impact away from the lens, and it seemed to focus all right. And in fact, what I'll do after the video portion of this, I'll just I've just taken some quick test shots in the garden. And around the house, just a couple, nothing special, just to test the uh, mainly macro actually to see the, the check the focusing and the, and the zoom thing uh, was okay. So there we go. I'm now minus one UV UV filter, UV filter, but I've still got my 55 to 250. As you can imagine, while I was going through it, I was thinking, oh Christ, I have to buy another, buy another lens then. But also, I must admit, I was also thinking, well, wait a minute, if I'm buying another lens, it's an opportunity to upgrade. <laughs> But anyway, that's a story for another video. So what I'm going to do next is find another 
UV filter to screw onto this baby because uh, I know there's lots of d debate about whether it would protect it or not. Um, but obviously in this case, I think that UV filter definitely protected it um, from impact. And the other thing I'm going to do is, although, you know, let's see if we can get this. You know, although I love my photo runner bag, obviously the padding in the bottom isn't really thick enough. So I'm going to find some rubber padding or something that I can put in the bottom of it. So if I do drop it again, which undoubtedly I will, um, then uh, my gear will be a lot more protected. So there we go. That's me. My name is Rob Nunn from robnunnphoto.com. You can email me, scalespeed at gmail.com. Very, very relieved to still have his 55 to 250 in great shooting condition. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again pretty soon.